Five o'clock rock. Think Tech on a given Thursday. Here we are on Thursday at five o'clock. What do we do? What's the answer? We do Think Tech tutorial. And today we have uh, Diamond Cabildo, and uh, she's in team one, and Emily Kurth, she's in team two, our summer interns. And we have my co host, uh, Carol Mon Lee, who's in. What team are you in, Carol? I am like you. We are. No team. No team. <laughs> Teamless. Teamless. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Welcome to the show, young ladies. Hi, uh, hello. Uh, oh, nicely done, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? We're going to talk about tutorial, team one meets team two, a joyful occasion. So good that you're trading off between team one and team two. And so the first thing is to get an idea to explain to people what, what exactly we have going here um, on our ThinkTech intern program. Carol, what's in the syllabus? Okay, well first let me explain that this is ThinkTech Hawaii's first summer internship program and we're so proud to have, as you said, we have had one month of Team One with Diamond and Haley, who is at Kalaheo High School, and now we have Team Two for the month of July, which is Emily, and also with Diamond participating. I'm back. From the Priory, <laughs> from the Priory. Yes, Di uh, Emily is going to be a junior at the Priory, is that right? Yes. That's great. Well, welcome. Um, so we have it divided up into four-week sessions, and each week we cover different areas of media, video production, right? And you know, since our friend Diamond here has already gone through it, I'm going to have her maybe give us a few minutes about what you learned and what we expect that Emily will also learn. Sure. Um, well, at Think Tech, it was a lot of um, communication really between hosts and guests and um, uh, that's like the bulk of what uh, me and Haley did uh, we you know we greet guests make them comfortable um, get their information and set them up on the table and get them ready for um, to to have a good show and to talk and um, so that was the the most uh, like the bulk of what we did um, we also worked with the cameras Haley and I uh, did our whole OC16 show thing, and that took us uh, a good two weeks to, to do that project. Um, so and what exactly was involved in doing an OC16 show? Uh, well, the OC16 show was a lot of um, running around and trying to get people to appear on the show uh, as the interviewees. Um, we, it was a lot of networking and um, getting in contact. and planning dates and uh, going out to do these interviews and film them. So you actually developed a theme for a show, you did research, mm -hmm. you found people to interview, mm -hmm. you filmed it. And then it was editing. Produced it. Yeah, yeah. Edited it, starred in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to some extent. Uh -huh. um, but it was a lot of work and a lot of sleepless nights, but um, I'm proud with what the what work we came out with. And so that is now available on OC16? <laughs> yes. <laughs> OC16, uh, so the topic was transgender youths in Hawaii. And um, yeah, yeah. Great. So let's gonna, we're going to shift this to Emily a little bit. So Emily, mm -hmm. welcome. Hi. <laughs> We're nice so glad to, be to here. have you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your interest in media and video production. Well, when I was um, little, I liked making a lot of movies. They're really stupid and not serious. They weren't well made. But what did you use? What kind of a was it? A iMovie phone? that I came movie? with my computer I that see. was required for school. Very low key and not very professional, but it was fun and I enjoyed doing it. And then I also took a lot of video classes. So when I was probably in fourth grade, I took this um, summer school course that was like for fun. And it was about claymation. So we- About what? Claymation. Claymation. So we would make your own props, like this own little set. And then we would take a picture and then make a movie and then edit it. And it was, I mean, they were really poor in quality, but they were really fun to make and took a lot of time. And I just, I was constantly making movies whenever I went on trips. I was always filming. And then I actually got the opportunity when I was in the eighth grade to actually participate in my first um, big project that was serious and I used more advanced programs. So I used Adobe Premiere Pro and 
That actually was for a program called Hikino that's on PBS. Yes. And it's a statewide student network where schools from across the state can make stories, anything they want, and they're about two and a half minutes in length, and they combine them into a half-hour show. So I got this opportunity over the summer from my friend who asked me to do it with her, and we did a story about this exchange student. And At the prior room? Yeah. We didn't actually know too much about her. We just thought, let's do a story on her. And it, we found out through the process of you know, story making and interviewing that her mom had actually died and that was why she came to the Priory. So, to start over. And we actually, that was only supposed to last the summer, just something to do, but it ended up lasting the entire year and it took a lot of work. And it was only two minutes and 30 seconds long. <laughs> yeah. It was, wow. So yeah. you have a plan for uh, doing a movie during your uh, internship? Yes. An OC-16 yes, movie, Yes, exactly, right. yeah. What so. are you thinking? Well, I was given the idea from Marianne it, to do... Marianne Sasaki. Yeah. Uh, one of our hosts, right? Yeah, who yeah. helped, who helped uh, yeah. uh, Diamond. Diamond. Thank and you, Haley, Marianne. big time. <laughs> yeah, she, was, she wanted me to do... Um, what was, was it Gun Control? Ah. I wanted to do that. I think She's that's very what it was. excited about gun yeah. control. <laughs> but She's then, done some commentaries about gun control. Yeah. But then I also thought when I was at home, it, at the Priory, there's this huge tradition when you're in junior year. So I'm going to be a junior next year. And it's, a, it's called Ascension Day. And there's a coral cross in the, the courtyard. And every year on Ascension Day, they all decorate it with flowers. And I've been at the Priory since sixth grade, so we always saw it every year, and it was kind of something you look forward to when you became a junior. And it celebrates the anniversary of the school as well. And from the outside, it looks very simple, but it takes the entire year of planning, because it's, it's crazy, and it's very stressful, and you spend the whole night with your class doing it. So I thought maybe because my class is actually celebrating the 100, we're making the 150th cross, so it's our school celebrating 150 years. So I thought maybe do a story on that, like the process, because a lot of people don't see it. They just see the finished product. So, and so it'll celebrate 150 so years. So pictures then from prior years because you yeah. won't have the finished product yet. And then also, year. when I was doing Hikino, our original plan was to do a, a story on the school, like the history. So I know that from looking through files, we have B-roll footage. A lot. Mm, that'd be yep. helpful. Right. Of past so who would you interview? Days. I would interview, so we have this amazing lady named Ms. Donathan. She's the art director, but she is also the class advisor for the junior class, and she is a, a wizard at this thing. She knows everything about it, how to plan it, and she's incredible. She's the reason that it comes together. I would interview her, and then also the director of the upper school. Um, Miss Grems, because she knows a lot about it, and maybe past alumni. Sure, yeah. or maybe somebody from the senior class, yeah. right? Who just did it last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, I would do that. That was an idea. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. And how are you going to execute the idea? Now you know uh, uh, Diamond had an advantage. She had Haley and Diamond working together. <laughs> um, what are you going to? Well, I would. I'd probably ask our tech department because they have access to all the footage and also I would I would probably conduct interviews not actually filming them but with Miss Grimes and Miss Donathan and see their thoughts what they think is important I know a chunk of it just from going to the Priory since sixth grade but there's so much more so I would probably conduct interviews figure out what's important to include in it gather some b-roll maybe look through some old yearbooks from past crosses and then conduct those interviews, make a storyboard before, actually, yeah. And mm -hmm. then... So you yep, know we have, you have two more weeks left in your internship. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we're going to have to start... We're going to have to close the show a little early today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can start plotting and plan. Yeah. Well, It'll take a lot good. of work, but I'm right. excited. Uh, good, good, That's good. an idea. You're going to do the editing. Yep. And on what editor are you going to use? 
I'm familiar with Premiere Pro, but if there's another editing program that would be better, I'm open to using that. Um, we don't know of any that would be better. Yeah, so I, I plan on using Premiere Pro. Yeah, good. Great. Okay, Great. wow. All right. So we have to, you know, uh, we have to collaborate on exactly how you do the voiceover. Yeah. And make it right for OC16. Mm -hmm. Fit within appropriate time limits and all that. Yeah. And, and I know I know that if you call Diamond up, up about this and ask her for consultation, she'll answer your questions. <laughs> no, absolutely. Like I would go and like help you film things oh. or record the interviews. So Thanks. Just, yeah, totally. Get to meet my school. <laughs> yeah, that'd be super cool. <laughs> I it's all going to have to be done fairly soon, right? Yeah. In the next week or two. Good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't underestimate the time it takes to do right. the editing. Yeah. Right. yeah we, we did that. We need editing. <laughs> All night, right? Yeah. Yeah. So among the different tasks that are involved, do you have a particular interest in, whether it's editing or production or writing or filming? When I first came here, I thought editing was what I wanted to focus on. But then there's so much more to it, like producing, that I didn't really know about mm -hmm. and the filming. But I, I still think editing is what I'd like to focus on. But then, just now, I was in the control room with Zuri, watching her do her thing, and that's that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much multitasking, and yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it just kind of Zuri. Like, <laughs> what the heck? Hey, Zuri, I, I think I think it's up to you to respond to that, Zuri. It looks so hard, but it's interesting. <laughs> I can tell that you're having a lot of fun back here. And, you know, you're so creative and you have so many ideas. I'm sure you would have just as much fun. You know, it's pretty hectic, but hey, you got to do what you got to do in live yeah. television. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have a TriCaster at the Priory? Nope. I didn't even know producing was a thing. Really? Yeah. Okay. I did not know what a TriCaster was. Uh -huh. I, I came in here for the interview and saw that room, a bunch of buttons with lights and monitors. I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. I don't know what that is. But. <laughs> what kind of resources do you have at the Priory? You said you took uh, some uh, yeah. courses. Well, that when I was in fourth grade, that claymation one, right. that was a summer school. That was course. summer school. So it was actually by a separate teacher who came, was hired. So he had his own equipment. But at the school, they have um, big cameras, but then they also have the editing software, but they don't have a TriCaster. Do you have a studio there at the Priory? We do have a tech department, and it does have a green screen, kind of like this, but it's, they moved, and I don't think we have a studio, but if there were, there was one, it'd be there. Do you have a, a coursework in, in high school? Are there classes that you can take? You can do um, internships with them or independent research that specializes in video production, but there's not really like a main course. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break now. Okay, everybody agrees? If you agree, raise your hand. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> we'll take a break. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, meeting people we may not have otherwise met, helping us understand and appreciate the good things about Hawaii. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Aloha! This is Rez. Big Jackal, the University of Hawaii football team under Rolovich is going to get butt this season. In case you didn't understand me, University of Hawaii football team is going to kick butt under Rolovich this season. So be sure to follow us on Think Tech Hawaii and Hibachi Top. I'll be at every game. And remember, aloha! Aloha, I'm Chantel Seville, host of the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. This show is for you. It's all about inspiring and empowering girls of the future to do what they love, get out there and be healthy, fit and confident. If you're up for that, 11 a.m. every Wednesday, I'll see you there. Aloha. My name is Carl Campagna and I'm the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Education Movers, Shakers and Reformers. I invite you to come watch our show on thinktechhawaii.com. You can also see our shows on YouTube as well if you can Google search those. I appreciate the time. I hope that you do join us as we learn about education, about the educational system here in Hawaii, what the challenges are, what the benefits are, and how much our kids are learning. So thank you. I hope you join us. All right. That's your okay, we're end. back. We've had our minute of respite. Now we're going back to a tweet which says, Aloha, gang. Just want to know, did your internships exceed your expectations? Please 
elaborate. Diamond, you go first. Oh, absolutely. Um, like, when I came into this, I, I had no idea what to expect. I mean, they gave us a syllabus, they gave us a list of things that we may or may not cover, but coming into this and working at the studio, it's, it's been an honor, like, learning so much from not just the people who work here, who are super cool, by the way, um, <laughs> but also from all the people that come into the studio, all the hosts and guests and, and like stray stray people that come in and <laughs> talk we to us. We got that or, too, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just, it's been an incredible learning experience. Yeah. So thank now, you. Now, thank you, Diamond. <laughs> you've been great. Uh, so Emily, you, you've had two weeks of this. Uh, yes, I have. Can you answer the same question? Okay, well, I've read the syllabus. Actually, I, I got this email from my college counselor. That's how I found out about it. And I thought, this looks cool. This is up my alley. I'll try it. And then I come in for the interview and just seeing the studio, <laughs> it's crazy. All the lights and the, the green screen, it's very bright. And I thought, this is pretty high tech. <laughs> so I did have some high expectations, but then once actually working and getting some experience, I think that I didn't realize that a lot of it would be communication and working with people. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I thought we'd be behind the computers. And that was a good thing because, of course, I expected all the, the work with the cameras and Twitter and all the programs. But learning how to deal with people and get them to move to the schedule that this, this um, website goes to, that's a really good skill to have. Yeah. It's all about relationships. Yeah. So, I, you know, I'll never forget when uh, Carol started um, talking to interns about, you know, what's supposed to happen here. She said, you gotta, you got to shake hands. you gotta, <laughs> you got to approach them. And, you know, she stuck out her hand like that, okay, and everybody, it's going to become a trademark now. Right. The interns come dancing out into the salon area. And <laughs> <laughs> right. Look them in the eye. <laughs> Look them in the eye. Yourself. You're doing that too, aren't you? Right. Well, I'm working on it. It's still a skill I have to, like, yes. get down, but yes. trying. And you can apply it. I know Diamond said this in her um, uh, d uh, journals, that it's something that you apply in every part of your yeah. life now, mm -hmm. right? You're yeah. comfortable about doing that. A lot yeah. more confident about yes. it, definitely. Yeah. Right. And you see know, how important it is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. They walk up to people on the street and say, hi, I'm, I'm Emily. <laughs> okay, <wait>. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Think Tech Studio. <laughs> well, Emily, you've been here now almost two weeks, mm -hmm. and you've had five shows times, whatever, seven, 35, 40 shows yeah. that you've actually sat in, worked on, or observed. So among all those shows, were there any that particularly you found impressive, the host and the guests or the topics? Well, I definitely remember this one guest named Solomon Eos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hard to forget. Yeah. Hard to forget. And his personality, I've never met someone like that before. And it usually you have people on here that are really serious and they, they're the top of their professions and they're st like straight for business. But this guy was just so different. Change of pace. And I just remember him and he was so deep and philosophical and positive. Mm -hmm. So he stood out for me and then also they had that, I forget her name, but it was on Donna's show, Center Stage. They had um, this lady from that band, that metal band, Bone Canyon. I thought she was really cool. Venus. Yeah, yeah. Venus. Really cool, just because for a period of my life, I really liked metal. <laughs> <laughs> and just hearing her talk about bands was like really cool. Uh -huh. she, and then also um, the, I think that, okay. Let's just leave that there. I think, in general, yes. that there's a lot of people who are just so smart and insightful and really have good communication skills. They present themselves well, and there's just so much to learn from them. So as a whole, this isn't specifically one person, but you learn a lot, not only from filming and from this internship. You learn like about current events in the island, on the island, and the world. Right. You, do you know what Think Tech's mission is? I can't, I don't, I didn't memorize it, but I do know what's about. It. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we want to promote what we call promote civic engagement, raise public awareness, and promote civic engagement in our community. 
and the way we do that is through the our programming right so we have five to six shows a day on different topics with different speakers and different hosts so that we can present all these different issues international local issues uh, speakers hosts who can present a wide variety range of um, important topics to our community yeah so um, if, 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 a, if a host called you or a guest called you and said you know what is it like what's your advice to me to do a good show and what are the mistakes I could make uh, you know in doing a show how with the footfalls uh, let, let's have you go first diamond sure um, I suppose in terms of improving a show uh, it's definitely the show is more about the content um, so I would definitely have hosts make sure that they know their guests very well that um, they've met before coming to the studio yeah, perhaps sure. um, uh, as, as well as you know make them feel comfortable uh, talk with them you know it's it's for me it's the shows are really about content yeah. over um, like the technical aspects because we yeah. have a caller you know oh really yeah caller oh. on the line yeah. okay they're calling right back <laughs> 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 so close. So anyway, yeah, no, we'll, we'll get them, but continue then. Oh, um, but yeah, it's just really talking, just get that good communication going on between hosts and guests and um, all the technical aspects like um, uh, being re or keeping an eye on the time, you know, uh, listening to Zuri. Um, def well, everyone should listen to Zuri, actually. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's really what I would say. Okay, caller, that was uh, Diamond Cabildo, and uh, I wonder if you have a question or comment. You want to react to what she was saying? Hello? Yes, hi. Thanks for calling Think Tech. You have a question, a comment? You want to react yeah, to what yeah, Diamond was saying? Hi, Jay. Hi, Carol. Hi, Jay. Hi, Carol. This question is for our interns there. Okay. Now that they've, uh, now that they've experienced uh, live TV studio and video production. I want to know what their plans are in the future, and if they're planning to uh, carry this over into into their uh, line of work afterwards. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, let's let's address that. Thank you for that question. Let's Can you see. repeat the question? I will repeat the question for you, Carol. <laughs> what you know? Now that they've seen this, the interns have seen what's going on in the studio here. Have they incorporated that into their life plan? Do they expect to be doing this as a career later on? Um, so, uh, I, I think I know the answer with Diamond, but how about, why don't you give us your answer first? Oh, uh, well, I'm definitely going into film, um, probably not the broadcasting side of media, um, but uh, in More terms the of... the production side, is that what you mean? Um, no, as in like, um, I'd like to go into, like, well yeah, the production side, um, but maybe not a, in a live broadcasting studio kind of thing. Um, but more in the uh, like the filmmaking uh, sort of thing, like narrative storytelling. Uh, and in terms of like incorporating things I've learned, definitely that communication aspect and um, taking the initiative with talking with others, planning with others, you know, um, producing um, and and uh, confirming information. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, and Diamond, of course, is. Uh, we know from Team One is going to be a junior this year at UH at the Academy of Creative Media. Mm -hmm. So it's really well. She's on already her way. got one one yes. foot at least <laughs> yes. in yeah. filmmaking. She's yeah, like half a foot. Half yeah. a foot. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Emily? Well, the reason I did this internship was because I I have no clue what I want to do. So throughout middle school and high school, I. I did things, I tried multiple different things, just so when I do have to make that decision, I have a lot of things to choose from. And I figured out that making videos from you know, back in sixth grade with the, the really bad cameras and low quality equipment, I enjoyed that. So You like the low quality equipment? <laughs> well, I mean, I like the process. Creative process, okay. yeah. I thought, this is cool, making movies. So. That's why I took this internship, so I could f see, is this a possible career path? Do I want to follow through with this? Yeah. And it is. I, I know so. you just wrote your profile, and you mentioned you were also interested in science. Yeah. Particularly, any particular area of Well, that's science? another thing. In science, I tried multiple things. So I participated in science fair in sixth 
eighth, and then just last year. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, and I did pretty well. I made it from my, sc my school's fair to states and then got some awards and just meeting other scientists. And so my, in eighth grade, I did a project on the molasses bill. So, right. Yeah. Oh, that's what I did. Yes. So I, that was about like marine biology. Yes. And then just this past year, I did, um, I tried to do something on H power. So that was, I guess I'm shifting more you towards. You talked about H power last night? Yeah. Huh. So environmental engineering. So I did an engineering project. So those are some possible ideas. I don't know if I'd want to pursue science, but I definitely have enjoyed science fair. Well, this, this has given the, uh, the idea to Zuri that maybe there's journalism in you. Zuri, what's your comment? It's actually really funny. That's exactly what I was thinking while Emily was speaking is she sounds like she could be an investigative journalist because then she could do a little bit of everything and meet everybody. <laughs> there you I'm go. I'm very <laughs> indecisive, so. <laughs> we do want all that. We want, all you know, you, you talk about current events. You're talking about current issues. Yeah. This is very valuable for Think Tech, important for us. That was something that I kept in mind at Science Fair when I did those projects because when I would walk the, the hallway looking at the projects, I, I saw things that were incredible, but I didn't know what they meant. It was, it flew over my head. And I wanted something that would appeal to people that was current. Right. So I always looked in the newspaper. Whenever I had to make that hard decision about what I was gonna do, I always checked the newspaper because I thought that's what the people would wanna see. Good, that's part of our syllabus anyway, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Emily, we're at that time of the show, when you get to talk to the public Look, you know, wow. instead of looking at me or Carol or, or a diamond, okay. uh, look right there in camera one, okay? And um, tell them how they can be good hosts and guests on Think Tech. What's the message? Be prepared. That, that's a good thing. Come on time, which is about half an hour, uh, 15 minutes until your show. Don't wear green. Please don't. <laughs> it's very Please hard don't. for Zuri. <laughs> that, that's good. Um, also, you do, like you said, you want to know your guest so that when you come up here, you make them feel comfortable and that it runs smoothly. And it's, it's like a conversation. The camera's not even there. So, and that's very important because it makes for easy viewing. Pretty good, huh? Very good. Two weeks in. Fast 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 fast. Yes, you think. Okay, <laughs> what do you got to say, Diamond? What she said. <laughs> <laughs> Add something. Um... Let's see, good communication, don't wear green. Um, honestly, Emily's got it down. <laughs> All right. Really? right. <laughs> and Suri, your, your closing comment? I'm just going to speak right over you guys. I think that the girls are learning so fast. I can't even call them girls. They're super women. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, Carol Munley, it's time for you to close. Well, first of all, I want to thank our, uh, first of all, this whole internship program has been such a success. And our team one with Diamond and Haley and team two with Emily, thank you so much for all the time you put in. And we look forward to the future of media and production because of you. So thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, ladies. I'm not going to call you girls anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing this. So well. That was fast. That's you always fast. hear them like, that was so fast, and then like, yeah, yeah.